Hello, YouTubers. Daniel here for the Smoky Mountain Gun Show. And on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to tear down your New England Firearms H&R Partner Protector Pump 12-gauge shotgun. I think your 20-gauge is also tear down like this, too. So before we get started, you're going to need uh, a ratchet with a 6-inch extension and a 12-millimeter socket or a super long flathead screwdriver to get the bolt out, a 3 30 seconds punch, and a Phillips head screwdriver. We'll go ahead and get started. Before you disassemble any weapon, safety check. There are no rounds in the weapon, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, you take the pins out from left to right. Uh, uh, I believe that it's left, yeah, left to right, but before we take the pins out, we are going to take the buttstock off. Okay. Now, to take the buttstock off, all you do is right here. You're gonna see your little rubber baby buggy bumpers, little pads in here, or rubber stops. You just stick your punch in there and get them out. It's easier to do it that way instead of having to try to pull them out with your finger and keep up with them. You really don't need them, but uh, it keeps that pad flush. Then you take your Phillips head. Simple process here. You just take the take your uh, screws out. We'll put it in the crotch vise here. Okay, make sure they're clear. That one's clear. And a quick tip: the screws. You don't have to take them completely out of the recoil pad here. They will stay in there, so you don't have to keep up with them. Now where this is a teardown, it is not a complete detail strip. Uh, the only thing, I, I don't take apart the, um, the bolt or the trigger group. Um, so, but if you're wanting to do like most people and paint it, because the finish is so awful, this will get you where you need to go. Okay, loosen it up here. Just got to loosen up the bolt. Um, the bolts down in there, you will see it. So, loosen it up. It's still not loose. I think we're free. Okay, get your butt stock, turn it upside down. And right there is your bolt. You don't need your ratchet for now, and you don't need your screwdriver for now. So, take your bolt, set it to the side. Set your butt stop to the side. Okay, now right here, you'll have your, um, I think it's called your receiver connector lug. Just unscrew it. Set it to the side. And then you got your little gasket in here. I'm not sure what it's called, but it comes right out. Just sits in there and comes right out. You'll see it sits loosely. Okay, now you want to take your barrel off. So, right here, take your little magazine tube end cap, unscrew it, set it off, and then right here you see uh, got a little springy, another end cap on your spring, you push down, turn to the right, and you'll feel it stay down in there, but you want to keep turning until you feel it start to come back up, and and uh, don't let it go because it'll fly out. But uh, go ahead and take your spring off. Leave that cap on there. Uh, okay. Now you can take your barrel off. Should have done that first. Cock your uh, slide back. Barrel comes right off. And then you want to get your magazine tube plug out. So uh, it's right in here. All you do is turn this thing upside down. It slides to the top. Now you're going to have to turn this too because it's got grooves in it that ride on the same rails as your end cap there. It comes off really simple. Okay, now we're going to take the trigger group out. You need your punch. Big pin comes out. Little pin comes out. Okay, free and clear. Okay, trigger group comes right out. Uh, there it is. Now you're going to take forearms off. You have a shell latch in here. Okay, 
The main one is on the left side of the gun. So if you're turning it upside down like this, it's the one straight forward. Just you can see it in there. Uh, I really can't show you because it's dark down in there, but it's right here on the side of the receiver. You'll see it. Uh, that's actually your cartridge stop. So you press in your cartridge stop, pull out a little bit on your forearm till it gets free, turn it up right side up, pull out, take your bolt off, and your bolt carrier. And then your forearm comes free. And then that's it. Right there, you got a hollow receiver and tube um, and your barrel. So this baby's ready for paint right here. You can see him blast that and put you a nice parkerized finish on it, unlike this one that is completely, completely scuffed. So but it's alright. This is a beater gun anyway, and I love this gun. I absolutely love this gun. So here's your parts. There's all your parts here. Make sure you keep up with every single part. Your little rubber baby buggy bumpers here don't matter as much, but uh, every other part here uh, needs, you need for the gun for it to function. So right there it is. And uh, that's been the disassembly. So uh, this has been Daniel for the Smoky Mountain Gun Show. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so. Uh, make sure make sure you watch my reassembly video on my channel and as always you guys have a very nice day